So now let's see how we can work around with simplifying of curves inside of Blender. So to do that, you need to first of all enable out the Simplify Curves plugin. So uh, before that, I'm going to go around and then bring in a curve. So I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and over here you can see curve is an option. So over here you can see uh, that uh, there's different options. I'm just going to bring in a base here right here. So if I were to press tab right here, this is what I have as you can see. So if I were to go around and then scale this around, I can go around and make some changes. Let me just go around, press E right here, E, E and E just like this. And now what happens is that I can go around and then change out the curves as you can see right here. I can just go around, change out the curve right here, just like this and add in some details. And you can see that I got rather a complex curve now. So now uh, to enable the Simplify Curves plugin, you need to go around into edit and then you need to go to preferences right here. And you can see that Add Curve Simplify Curve Plus is an option. Simply enable that out. So click on it and it'll be enabled. So now once that is enabled, you can select out the curve right here. You can press Shift A on your keyboard and over here in Curve, you can see Curve Simplify is an option. Once you click on this, you can see that it has generated a simplified version of the curve right here, which is much less uh, um, detail. You can go around and increase the curve right here and you can see that this is what you have. You can go around and increase and decrease the error right here to make it much more smoother. You can decrease out or increase the value right here to make it more smoother uh, just like this as you can see. So as I increase the value, it's more uh, smoother right here. You can go around for a poly type of um, an output right here. You can go for Bezier type of output. You can go for nerves type of output right here. You can go for poly right here according to how you like it. And that is how you can work around with this as you can see right here. So I'm just going to go around with Bezier output right here and this is what you have. Increase this range like this and that is how it works. You can click outside and this is what you have. So if I were to move this around right here, you can see that this is a simplified version of the curve that I have right here. And that is how you can work around with uh, simplifying uh, curves plugin uh, inside of Blender. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.